the moratorium on uh, future land use and development and also accept the agreement between uh, Mr. White's and associate and his contract here as it's, as it's outlined. Do I have a second? I second. All those in favor? Motion carried. Okay, on the citizen concern, uh, Councilman Bannable would like to speak. We discussed the tree removal contract at uh, this work session. And uh, I brought up the last line of this tree removal easement. I'm sure plenty of you have heard it several times already, but I won't even read it. It says, I hereby release and waive any claims that I may have against the city as officers, agents, and employees, whether such claims are known or unknown arising from the removal of the tree. Basically, I'm, <clears throat> this is referring to city property and city trees. So, um, if a person signs this waiver on this tree removal easement, as I understand it, they're waiving their rights against the city should something happen and in removing that city tree. So I am making a motion to strike that line from this tree removal easement. I'll second it. All those in favor. Mr. Stang. I'm going to ask you to explain that meeting that you would have. Yes, ma'am. So there is a true removal easement that was written. So when there is a piece of property that's owned by the city and there's a tree on that piece of property that needs to be removed, this easement, whenever a person signs it, if they sign it, they release any rights to hold the city responsible should something happen. So that's what we're asking to have that removed. Excellent. Uh, the next thing I wanted to bring up was the city website and Facebook page. We discussed this at the work session as well. Um, Facebook page and the city website. I personally believe they're in dire need of updating. They're not mobile friendly. Uh, it's pretty cumbersome to use in my opinion. And I believe that things are hard to find. Um, I would like to uh, have it revamped and I'm asking, uh, I'm making a motion that we go out for bid to have the city website uh, redone. I second it. All those in favor? The cost of doing this? Well, that's the reason why we go out for bid. It's not obligating us to do it, but it's giving us pricing information. And I have to add, we have no access to that. Um, Kay has been trying to get in. Um, that is why it still shows the previous mayor's name. Um, I guess that. That little secret went by the wayside the first of the year. Mm -hmm. So they're not talking to Kay, they won't talk to me. Um, and we have <coughs> messages. So that motion carried. Next one, you did the same comment. I did not vote. It was not going to be used the way it should be. I don't think they even need the Facebook page. So my vote is no. What, uh, what about the website? No. Until we get somebody that can use it for what it is here for, then I'll then know. Well, the website is for the benefit of the city. And for so the city to look at it. Facebook pages, but it's not being used for that. And I hate to bring this up, but it's been used against me, so no.
Okay, so what, what is it we have? I think three votes? I, I would like to add something. I think the Board of Trustees should have the ability to make that decision. I've seen when it's done right and when it's moderated and when, when people act the way that they're supposed to act, it's a very invaluable tool to, to the community, the citizens, and for us to not use it is, is shutting down another resource for us to help the community and help the city's transparency um, and you know, I think I think it's a great thing. I've I've looked at Oconee County's um, their sheriff's webpage is it's almost like viral. I mean, there's like fifty thousand people um, that follow that Facebook page because it's done right. It's moderated and it's handled appropriately. And I think um, I think if we steer the Facebook page in the in that direction, I think it could turn into an invaluable tool. So that's why I support it. And Dwight, I agree with you, but until you figure out how to get it run right, once you get it worked out, let me know. And I'm all for changing my votes, but right now, no. Okay. <clears throat> Carried a three to two vote. Well, this is just to get the bids, but we have to do something because we can't even access. We can look at it, but we can't access it and we can't change it. So it still shows Mayor Bridges as, and I got a phone call today, and when I answered the phone, that was what the gentleman said Mayor Bridges. And I said, no. So we can't even update it. So it's really worthless, but we can't take it down either because we have no access. Um, next on here is the meeting structure. Um, it's been discussed, um, not everyone's on board, but we need to make some changes as far as the way that we do our meeting structure. I really have strong feelings about this um, we have a work session on a Thursday night and we try to get public opinion and then we have to try to make a vote on Tuesday following. Um, you almost have to be a mathematician to figure out well the third Tuesday and back it up to the following or the Thursday before and so what day is it and so I think the best thing would be if we could follow um, the board of, what is it, the chamber? Uh, board, of board, of board of commissioners meets, I believe, the first Tuesday and the third Thursday. So for the city of Staten to be a little bit more proactive, it would make more sense to have our meetings Thursday night following, so that we know something that they've made decisions on that could affect us. So I'm proposing that we do uh, first Thursday and the third Thursday so that we follow and we can we have more time to look into issues and do our due diligence as a council and as a mayor because I'm not exempt. Um, I'm here anywhere from eight to ten hours a day as I promised and I'm not afraid to read. I'm not afraid to do the research. So uh, we can't honestly do the city justice if we're going to look at something on Thursday and the following Tuesday do the vote. So I, I think a two-week gap in there might make it easier. Um, so that's what I propose that we do and it gives you all a chance to get more input um, you know, if you have time to think about things, sometimes you change your mind. You also can research too. So that's what uh, I think might actually work best for our city moving forward. Here, I have a question more. Yes. This is for uh, council. Thomas. 
Yes. Um, would this need to be advertised if we made a vote? How, how does this work? Yeah, yeah, I would need, in fact, one of the, I was looking at to see if um, that was in your ordinances. Um, the last thing I saw, it said we meet the first Tuesday, or the second Tuesday. That was in the charter. And that was in the charter. So, I mean, it hasn't been that <coughs> for quite some time. Yeah, your ordinance, you've got an ordinance that says regular meetings on the third Tuesday and then work session. Um, so that's all it says. And y'all, by practice, you've done your work session. The city's done your work session when they've done it. So you need to change your ordinances um, to change your meeting schedule. Um, it's certainly possible to do. Okay. And then yes, it would need to be advertised. So, if we're going to do the work session the first uh, Thursday and wait two weeks and have the meeting, if somebody needs to come before us, have you thought about the time they're going to have to wait before they come in and get an answer? Oh. I think that is too much time in between a workshop and, and a meeting because too much can happen. People can need answers. Uh, a week is long enough. But it has been working fine like we've been doing all these years. I don't see why we, all of a sudden, we're going to change everything right off the bat. No, we're just trying to make it a little easier and get more input. Well, who's been having a problem with it like we've been doing it? Oh, like I said, from yeah. Thursday till Tuesday gives us plenty of time to make up our mind. There's three of us on this council that are retired. There's three on this council that work for a living. So we're asking them to work eight hours a day or nine hours a day and then go home, take time away from their family to, to cram for the next three days on something that might need to be researched. Doesn't need to be researched every time, maybe not. But um, you know, I think to be fair to everyone, we need to give opportunity for them to be able to uh, have a little bit of family time during that three days. Well, I do too. I kind of see. I kind of see the point. I kind of see your point, and I kind of see Miss Betty's point too in that. That amount of time, you know, a lot of people they get on the they get on the work session and they get on the council, and that's two weeks is I mean that's that's a long time. That's a long time. Why, to, why wouldn't we consider? Have to wait for could, we, could we consider backing up just say to Tuesday? That would give us a week and it would be close enough to where you know things wouldn't wouldn't happen. Would that would that be suitable? Yeah, I, you know the second and third Tuesdays of the month. I would, I would definitely to. like to see more time in between the work session and, and the voting meeting. A perfect example, um, we could have potentially had um, something coming for us tonight under new business that we would have had time to, to research. Mm -hmm. and it, it would have been the same the same issue there. We we were doing the right thing. We probably would have had to potentially table something because we didn't have enough information. So it still would have pushed uh, or could potentially push something back to another month. Um, to me, my personal opinion, one weekend is not enough time for me to discuss it with people, uh, get input that we may want or may need. And it's certainly not enough time for me to go sit down and read through everything and, and uh, make an informed decision. You know, whether it's one week or two weeks, certainly more time would be beneficial for me personally. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you're not even using that. You've got to think about that weekend. A lot of people take weekends as family time period. So if you have a work session that's on a Thursday, then really you got a Friday and you got a Monday. Because a lot of people don't, don't want to cram in two days of their family time of doing the research on some things that, that need more time. A lot of things don't need more time, but a lot of things do need more time. 
in between work sessions. And well, I'm not trying to be hard to get along with. But when you all ran and took the job, you knew you were, you knew when we met, all that should have been taken into consideration. It was. I've already stated why I would have to change it, so I have more time to get input and more time to research. That's why I would like to change it. And, and I personally... Well, why don't we just meet once a month and be done with it and go from month to month? That's when I ran, that was one of the to. issues that the public asked, is why do we seem to cram everything into three days and then push it through? Uh, and I promised that I would check into it. Um, a week is better than three days. Um, certainly, if two weeks is too long, but three days is, is really not reasonable to, to the public. And like I said, we have three people that work for a living. So we knew what we were getting into with this job, but that doesn't mean we can't make it easier on the public and on the, on the people that are on the council. Well, I think if you tile this into the, the Facebook page and you tie it into the website and you tie it into the agenda and you effectively communicate with, with the community and the citizens electronically, by word of mouth or whatever, and you give them a week. I, I agree that Thursday to Tuesday is not enough time. But if we, if we double down on our electronic communications back to the community, we get we get our city's website revamped and we have uh, completely redone everything. The week that we we're talking about here could be invaluable in in that Tuesday to Tuesday time frame. Um, I mean, it's it's just not enough time Thursday to Tuesday for consideration of you know we got changes, we got development, we got a lot going on in our community things to consider and um, you know I think I think that yes we've been doing things this way for a long time but it doesn't mean we can't reconsider it doesn't mean we, we have to shut down the possibility of you know changing a few, few minor things it's for the betterment of the community it's not like anybody's um, doing this for their own personal gain, it's, it's for the betterment of the community. And when you think of it that way, you know, how could we not vote for it? So I'm going to... I've been on the council for two years, Mrs. Thrasher. Yes? Okay, so it's been working just fine up until now. It hasn't been considered. What do you think? It hadn't been considered by the previous mayor and the previous council. So we're considering it. So can we do a week? When are all this stuff discussed and planned? It didn't just pop up right here tonight. Ms. Thrasher and I are not in on these discussions. We mentioned this on our last month. We, we mentioned the meeting structure. Um, or last But no details Thursday. or anything in there. Well, it was mentioned that we talked about two weeks. And it reached... Who was we, Mayor? The, the council. And I was shot down. Um, okay. Councilman Venerable uh, mentioned that we need we consider more time between. Um, I thought that it was a good idea. Nobody voted on it. Um, after the meeting, I asked what would work. You said nothing would work. You said nothing would work. That was your word. But it, it is something. I didn't have a meeting. 
It's just something that was mentioned, and like I said, when I ran for office, I had people that asked me, why do we only have basically three days between? And I said, I would be happy to consider and check into it, and I think it's a good idea. There was no meeting that discussed this that, that didn't include you, didn't include you. It, it just makes good sense, and it's not just for my benefit, it's for the public's benefit, for more input. If two weeks doesn't work, would everybody consider one week, the second Tuesday and the third Tuesday? The third Tuesday is already in stone, so it's just a matter of figuring out if we can change that one, instead of three days, we have a week. That's all we're asking for. That's all I'm asking for, I'll correct that. So I'm going to say we're going to shelve that. Hey, I have a question. What what was the um, what were your dates again? Okay. Just the second Tuesday. And well, originally I, I said the first and third Thursday, um, but we we do the third Tuesday, so that would be next month to be the 18th, and that would say the 11th. But I'm going to say. I'll make the recommendation that we shelve this until city council meeting on the 18th, or we shelve it until Thursday work session, which would be the 13th. But I really think that the all council members should consider this for everybody's benefit. That's the working people on this council, and that's the public out there that elected us to do a job. And I think we can do a better job, and that's what I'm asking for. They want to hold us accountable. I can hold myself accountable. So, there's a motion. Somebody make a motion whether they want the 13th or they want the, uh, the 18th um, to read it, revisit this and come to some kind of a agreement. I'll make a motion we tag on until next month. The 21st. Yes. The 18th. The work session. So the work session will be the 13th. Thursday work session. Second. All those in favor? <coughs> you you abstain? No, I'm, oh, you I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Mayor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do not need to make your ordinance to change the work session. The work session is not set by ordinance. So you all can just, you can decide when you want to do your work session. Just make sure you find that for the public. Okay. <coughs> the last thing on citizen city buildings and properties council I don't know what you this yeah, I would, I would uh, like to put this on the next work session and uh, not stick this matter and do more research okay we have a motion to show this until the 13th I would like uh, I would like to comment on our our city buildings and properties is this concerning the rearrangement of the police department and public works and this was concerning the public uh, work building so it's it's all related to the rearrangement of our yes properties I th it, this is my opinion and and i think we need we need a general town hall meeting not not a council meeting not a work session i think the city could use a town hall meeting on and take public input on how we should handle the rearrangement of the city's assets we're moving the police department we're um we're considering um about Three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand dollars worth of property that's that's up in the air, and I think it's a good idea to get some uh, public input and and have a town hall meeting and see see what the community wants. Um, I know I know we've never done this. I know you know it 
and might seem like a change, but I think it's important that we listen and and find out what the citizens want, and we can do that. It's it's so much um, it's, it's so much that we're doing with the city's um, buildings and properties that it needs to be considered, and I would like. I would like for, for us to discuss that as soon as possible or make that, you know, make that happen as soon as possible because of the timeline, the timeline associated with moving the police department. So, Mr. McCoy, are, are you referring to moving the police department to a permanent location or temporary? I'm talking about the rearrangement of all of the city's um, real estate assets, all the moves, all everything that the city is considering, and all the properties that are potentially up, you know, for we we had already made a motion to approve um, taking bids for moving them to city hall temporarily. But I'm talking about everything. Long term. I'm talking about long term permanent location. Permanent locations and what the community wants to see um, the city. Do we want to try to set a date at this point? Two months away yes, for this meeting. No, I think what he's saying is the permanent home. I know, but temporary. Home. We need to be doing something there. I put the RPA in. I don't know if it's going to make it. Probably won't make it to the paper but in time, but I already put a uh, RP. Yeah, RP. Mm -hmm. yeah, all these acronyms. Our schedule move date is April 1st. Right. So, and as of today, our GBI audit has been scheduled for the following week. Um, at the first following week of April 1st. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that'll be fun. Welcome, Ira. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do, do we want to set something up as far as to try and have public input on a more permanent environment? Temporarily, I, I put an RFP together to get pricing to, to split this building which was on the the last um, council meeting it was it was passed that we get pricing for moving them here everyone agrees we're going to need to look at a permanent so do we want to have a a set meeting there's enough people here that they can get the word out um, to do a public forum and get public opinion. I put the RFP in, but I, it, it won't. I put a deadline, but I'm not sure if I got it in the paper quick enough. So I'm hoping that uh, I can get three valid bids. I did find one that was a year old to do that here, but they're not going to stand behind a year old bid. So to meet the criteria of an RFP, we have to move it forward and have it up to date. So, um, but I have to put that together. But that's for here. That's a temporary setup. Um, what we're looking for is set up a date for a public forum to get some input for future um, of what we could entertain as a permanent dwelling. Let's set it up for the first of March. That gives us a month to a month, the month of February to consider, you know, what we're going to do, how it's going to go, and that gives us uh, the February council and um, council meeting and work session. Um, to discuss the date and have to be the second of March. That's a Monday. You don't, or you want a Sunday? No, no. Monday's fine. Okay. 
It can be the first Monday because we hold four, and I'm assuming you're going to want the community center to hold the forum. So it can't okay. be that first Monday. Okay. Second. Sorry. On Wednesday the 3rd. How about Wednesday the 3rd? Anything that you know? You're right. Yeah. Well, what about the yeah. second? A student uh, can do it maybe uh, Monday the ninth. The ninth. Monday the ninth. <coughs> okay. Do I have a motion to the ninth? Oh. 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 Would it not make sense? We have a fur lane over there. We can't rent the building because it needs work. To take the money that we're going to put in here and go ahead and finish our fur lane, let them go over there temporarily. If not, the money that we're going to put in here to divide this, then we're going to have to pay somebody to come and take it out. That's going to be money thrown away. Yes. And fur lane is still going to be sitting over there with no paneling, no nothing. It looks to me like that would be the quickest and the cheapest way to go. They can go ahead and get moved. The library can do their thing. Well, that was one of the things I wanted to consider. I'm sorry. Well, that was one of the things I wanted to consider in the public forum instead of. Well, you know, the, but we already voted to get, put our RFP together to get the bids for this building for the temporary. My understanding is there's no real central air or heat at Furlane, so we're looking at a ballpark of eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 to do that. But you're going to have to put it in there before we can rent it anyway. But if we make it into office space for police, okay, are you going to undo that? If you're not, then We've basically taken a community center that's, a, in my opinion, could be wrong, a community center is a gift to the citizens, and we're going to say we're going to take that away.